Hey. I'm Ann. Nice How's your morning been so far? Good. Good. A little nerve wracking, but yeah. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. I have these for you. Not a resume and cover letter. Good. I'll cover those really quick. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. <laughs> and I do it. Yes. All right. So basically we're just going to go over um, some questions that will help us uh, decide if you fit what we need for a um, PR or public marketing developer for our company. So I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions and then I'll ask you if you have any questions as well and then we'll go from there. Okay. All right. So what would your personal experience in education bring to our company? Um, my, my experience as a graduate of the University of Portland, um, I've learned how to use conflict management very well and how to problem solve in different, various different settings between groups and even between customers or vendors. And that's what I did in previous jobs where I just dealt with customer service issues and problem solved for them. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're a fairly young bake shop with well-known patisseries in the area, such as St. Honor and Pix Patisserie. How would you promote to, differ to differentiate us on social media platforms? I would use a blog, maybe, to create like a different, like a different setting to set apart Bon Bon Roo from those other companies and just accentuate the fact that you guys do cater and the, the different breads and paste, pastries, I believe, mm -hmm. and the macaroons, and maybe even compare them to Lourdes, which is actually a Paris company that makes macaroons. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so if we were to receive negative feedback on one of our social media sites, how would you address this issue in order to save the face of our company? For example, a customer may post a complaint about poor service and or quality. I would personally message that customer and not continue to have conversation where everyone can see on that platform and address it individually with them, either with a refund or find out exactly why they didn't like the service and do my best to either replace the product or to give them a compensation for something that they didn't like. Um, with the ever-changing social media scene, how will you ensure that our shop is up to date on the current trends? Hmm, that's a good question. <laughs> I would, every time there's a new platform for social media, I would create a site for Bon Bon Roo, just to keep up, keep up with the changing times and different social media settings. And I'd also post links on our older settings, like such as Facebook or Twitter or WordPress and just have those updated links on there as well. Okay. okay. And then as a part of our catering services, we market to both individual consumers and businesses. How would you address the different markets? I would have two different approaches. One for strictly customers, one for business. Business would probably be more tailored to the catering side such as catering for office parties or meetings or different different interactions between the business. As to where the customers, I would have them come into the cafe, enjoy the French atmosphere, and it also accentuate the fact that you guys do have catering as well, but make it more on the lesser scale than the business side. Okay. Okay. So, you brought up uh, several points that uh, have been helpful for us, um, especially the conflict management aspect that's been helpful. Uh, also, the blog that you mentioned, um, uh, your methods for dealing with negative feedback would be interesting for us to look at, um, as well as your ideas about maintaining um, current, being current on trends. So that will be something that we'll look at for sure. Um, and also just your plan for the two different markets that we serve 
will be something that we address when we discuss the interview. Um, do you have any questions for us? Yes. Okay. Um, actually, I have two for you. I'm just wondering, what is the atmosphere and culture like of the business? So, we have a pretty flat structure. There's the five of us, the managers that have different aspects. Uh, we have different control of the company. So I work catering and special events. That's my main focus. Um, but it's all very friendly. We want to make sure that what we portray to the customer is what we're kind of portraying to each other. So friendly, very warm, outgoing. So and it's all very open. Lots, lots of communication channels open between management and employees. Anything else? Yes. I was wondering, second question, um, where do you see the future of Bon Bon Room in, say, five to ten years? We're hoping to, at least with our current brick and mortar store, uh, maintain our reputation and even improve our reputation as the premier uh, patisserie in North Portland. Um, we also hope to maybe add another store somewhere else in the city uh, and also just increase our sales as far as catering and events go. So make sure that we're building that part of our business as well. So, and so pretty much uh, Bon Bon Rue, uh, we strive to be a warm and friendly place, like I mentioned before, and you know, bring that French atmosphere to our area and bring a whole new experience for the patisserie. Um, with local ingredients being a key part of our business. So that's a little bit about us. And this position is, you know, as you've read already, is a lot about just maintaining our image and making sure that people see us and want to come into our shop. So, yeah. So if there's anything else that you have? No. That was all the questions. Right. So we'll be letting you know in about two weeks when we make our final decision. All right. So, yeah. Thank you for yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hope to see you again soon. See you soon. And you